What is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, welcome in. Hopefully you enjoy the content. If you do, be sure to smash that subscribe button down below uh, for some more Star Wars Galaxy Heroes content in the future. Now today we're going to be hopping into part two of our new player bod guide. Uh, this is going to be getting into some more advanced techniques when it comes to uh, modding your characters, going over some resources that I think will be helpful for you uh, when you're leveling up these mods, making sure that you're you know, using those resources to their fullest extent um, and not doing any waste across the board. So uh, let's hop in and um, I've already got a character pulled up. So I've got my Padme pulled up. Um, so I wanted to go over a few features that I didn't focus on as much in the last video. And I will leave a link above to the last video for uh, the, you know, the basics of modding. Uh, so, but this is the filter section. So here, this makes it a lot easier just to find the mods that you're wanting. You can search by primary stat. Uh, you can search by the slot that they go in. You can search by the set. Um, you can go by secondary stats as well. So um, like if you're wanting a health percentage or a health percentage mod with secondary speed on it, um, you know, that's a great way to kind of go through your mods and not have to search through that whole list. Um, you're able to find them easy. Uh, you can select the tier that they are, the rarity that they are. So you're wanting you know, those five dot mods, six dot mods, those types of things. You can search from other characters as well. So if you um, you know, select this off, you can uh, also look at mods on other characters if you're wanting to uh, maybe pull a mod off another character and put on this character that you're modding that kind of thing but a great way to kind of go through and find your mods easily now the first thing i want to hit up is just how to level up a mod to see the stats on it without investing a ton of credits into that so obviously there are some really desirable secondary stats that you want on mods and then you know a lot of times if mods don't have that secondary stat on there like speed for example is the king of secondary stats. If you get a mod that doesn't have that on there, in a lot of cases when you're modding characters, then it's a bad mod. At that point, you probably want to discard that mod and go look for um, you know one that does have a speed secondary stats if you have those available uh, to try out. So I wanted to hop on uh, here and uh, just kind of go to the upgrade section here and show you how this works. So at every three increments, you get another roll on a secondary stat. So if there's not a secondary stat showing, not all four of them are showing yet, then you'll unlock another secondary stat. So I go up to six here, then I have I can see all of the secondary stats on this. So this one doesn't have speed on it. This is not a desirable mod for me because it doesn't have that speed on there, um, which you know all my characters just about need that on there. So obviously there's cases where speed's not a huge, huge pull like, uh, you know, Grandmaster Yoda, for example, like mods that have offense percentage on there are going to be a really driving factor on a good mod for that character. So there's those special cases out there like a Grandmaster Yoda or Infus Nest who wants high tenacity um, where you're wanting, you know, other secondary mods over speed. Uh, but a lot of cases, speed is king. Uh, so in this case, speed is king. This is not a good mod for me. So now... That's the easiest way to just kind of look at those, and that goes down to every type of mod. So, um, you know, if you're looking at you know these green level mods, like if like this one right here, I took up to level nine to see all of these. So, um, it'll give you all those rolls. And then if you take the base level mods, you can take them up to uh, level twelve, and then you can see all the secondary stats on that. So it really cuts down on the credit costs that way as far as being able to see that. And if they do have desirable stats on them, they go ahead and increase them up to level 15. Then you can insert those mods on your characters and start leveling them up in other ways. So speaking of leveling mods up in other ways, uh, slicing, this is how you upgrade the tier level of mods. And you're going to need to farm up these materials down here. Um, you can get those in the mod battles in the, I believe it's the ninth tier. Um, you can work on getting these, um, you know, materials needed to slice up mods. So, but when you're slicing up mods, the goal is to get them uh, to um, tier A, and then tier A mods can be upgraded to six dot mods. Um, so it has to be a five dot mod, um, and then it has to be tier A, then you can take it up to six dot mods. And when you're going to take mods up to six dot mods it is an investment to do that so you're only going to, going, going to want to do those on premium mods so let me show you guys like what i consider a premium mod let's hop over to one of my characters that i have invested six dot mods on so this is my 
Jedi Knight Revan. Um, he is the leader of my main arena team. So with him, speed is everything. So if you look here, anything over 15 on speed um, is a pretty good mod. Um, if you get over 20, you're starting to get into God tier mod. So like this one, every roll went to speed. It's a 23 speed mod. That is a terrific mod. That's one that you're going to want to take up uh, to um, 6 dot for sure. And then, like for example here, crit damage is a really good mod. Crit damage with speed is a terrific mod. Uh, so that one's got 18 speed. That's you know a really, really good crit damage mod. Um, and then the best thing when you take these up to 6 dots, um, you will see a big increase when it comes to the percentages on like offense percentage, defense percentage, health percentage. Um, the regular stats do take an increase as well, but um, I believe that percentages are the way to go as far as desirable secondary stats. They get quite a big boost when you take them up to 6 dot mods. Um, I will leave a link below. Uh, it's just Ian. Uh, on his channel did a really good video on uh, percentages and how they increase at six dot mods that I think will be helpful for you if you're really interested in that. Um, it really kind of helped me out when I'm trying to pick out good secondary stats on mods um, as far as knowing how good of an increase they will get when you go to six dot mods. So, But hopefully that was kind of helpful for you as far as seeing how to slice up uh, those. And then if we hop over here, I'll show you real quick just where to farm that at. So if you go to mod battles, it's the very last tier in the mod battles here. You can just go through here, complete these out, then you get the materials that you need, and then you can go to that slice screen, slice those up. It's very easy to do that. So um, lastly, I wanted to hop into some community resources. So all this is great knowing about mods, but if you don't know what mod sets to put on characters, then you're really just kind of hanging out there. So let's hop over. The first thing I want to look at is uh, swgoh.gg. This is a terrific website. If you're not on here and haven't registered, I recommend that you do that. Um, but if you go here and just go up to the top, click on stats and go to mod meta report, this is a great way to figure out what you should be putting on each character. So let's scroll down. We were looking at Padme earlier and uh, I'll just kind of show you, um, you know, what we're looking for when, when uh, leveling up Padme mods. So you want a full health set. The nice thing about this is it tells you what sets that you're looking for. Um, and then it also tells you, like if you scroll back up to the top, uh, maybe it'd be easier to look here. What were, what are desirable um, receivers, hollow arrays, data buses, and multiplexers? Those are the ones that have um, you know the uh, variation on what you can put in as primary stats. So this lets you know what primary stats that you need. And if you notice on the receivers, if you scroll down, how many of these need speed receivers? So you're gonna to wanna to farm up a ton of different types of speed receivers because so many characters need those. It's worth farming every day to try to get uh, you know, those mods in particular. And then like crit damage is a huge deal for uh, you know, a lot of damage dealers for hollow arrays as well. So those are really good mods to get. But um, this kind of really breaks down what you need. So if we're looking at Art Trooper, Trooper here, you need offense set, uh, crit chance set, uh, you want a, a receiver with speed, hollow array with crit damage or offense, a uh, data bus with protection, and then a multiplexer with offense. So, um, you know, this is what the majority of the players are running. Um, it's is a great, great resource. So pe how they get this information is they pull all this information from people who've registered their accounts on here. Uh, you know, they take, um, you can actually look at, you know, different, uh, different guidelines as far as they're concerned. So this right here is going off of arena ranks one from 100. Um, who people are running. This is the primary mods that they're running on these characters. So great resource here uh, for you just to figure out what mods that's put on here, what receivers, hollow rays, data buses, all that kind of stuff. Now, the second one that I recommend is gamingfans.com. Uh, this is a terrific one as well, and they do a little bit more written information on there. So if you go to the mod section, uh, just click on, um, you know, go to the uh, Star Wars GOH, click on mods here. You can scroll down. They've got a list of every character in the game. Uh, so if we scroll down, we were looking at Padme earlier. Click on her. It's going to have a lot of great information about the character and then why uh, that they're using these mod sets based off of her kit and why they're good. So it explains the character um, you know, more in detail of why you're wanting to use these mods. Um, and then it will let you know additional areas of focus. So like with her, 
Um, you know, health is a big deal because she gives protection up, and protection up is uh, based off of the max health stat. So that's the reason that you want health on Padme because her kit revolves around giving the team protection up. Now, additional areas of focus, speed, potency, offense, defense, it lets you know why those are useful. And then down here at the bottom, it gives you an ideal setup um, with each mod giving you, you know, these are some perfect mods that you could go after to put in this character. So this is a really, really good resource for you guys when it comes to just explaining your the characters to you, why they're modded this way, and how it affects their kits. So um, this is, you know, these two I definitely recommend hands down. I think that they will be perfect for you when it comes to helping mod your characters. So, um, but anyway, guys, let me know what you think. Was this helpful for you? If you've got some more questions, uh, you know, feel free to put those down below. I can definitely help you guys out when it comes to modding. Um, you know, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button as well, and I will see you guys in the next video.